I'm Dr. Mike Boone of the Cemetery Research Group of Henry County, and I would like to speak with you today about the June 23rd, 1900 train wreck at Camp Creek in McDonough, Georgia. It's been 112 years ago, and this is a time of sadness, but yet a time of rejoicing that those people have gone on to be with the Lord. Now today I'd like to show you some photographs. These are the photographs of the train accident. And this one particular photograph here is taken in 1900 at the train wreck and it shows you clearly this is the Pullman car. It is, it is left intact. All the other cars have been destroyed. As you can see, the, the wide gap made by the floodwaters of the Camp Creek. Over here, in this photograph, is an enhanced photograph that was done in 1936 for the Atlanta Journal. This picture shows you more, in, you know, up closely how the and, you know train was you know the abutment was taken out. The rain lasted for approximately three weeks, and they had a deluge the night of this train wreck. The people on the train, eighteen of them, were railroad workers on their way to Atlanta for the weekend. This train wreck occurred on a Saturday night at approximately 9.45 to 9.50 in the evening. It's amazing at some of the things that happened that night, but I'd like to discuss with you the people who passed away that night. Those who died at the wreck were William A. Barclay, J. E. Wood, J. H. Honeycutt, J. T. Sullivan, who was the train engineer, W. W. Bennett, T. F. Maddox, W. J. Pate, Jesse Pate, his 12-year-old son, H.R. Cressman, George W. Flournoy, Clinton D. Hightower of Stockbridge, W. W. Park, Elder Henson, J. F. Florida, W. O. Ellis of Stockbridge, D. Y. Griffith, J. W. Rhodes, John Brantley White, Will Green, W. L. Marset, W. R. Lawrence, Ed Bird, Robert Spencer, W. H. Jensen, and then there were eight colored section hands who were unknown, four unidentified, and three missing. Now that is a key to a part of the subject today. Those missing, this is their cemetery today at the train site because their bodies were never recovered. Now, the, the people who survived this train wreck were Jesse L. Rohr of Baltimore, D Walter Pope of Atlanta, J.C. Flynn of Atlanta, Miss Mary B. Merritt of Boston, Massachusetts, Miss Clara Alden of Boston, Massachusetts, E. Schreiner of Chattanooga, Tennessee, 
E.T. Mack of Chattanooga, Tennessee, J.J. Quinlan, the flagman of the train, who also was one of the key heroes of this train wreck, T.C. Carter, Pullman Porter, and Handy Tomlinson. Now, two of the people who perished in this wreck were from Henry County. The first gentleman was Clinton D. Hightower. He was only 18 years old, and his father was John Walter Hightower, and his mother was Margaret Cornelia Dodson. His grandfather was Richard House Hightower, M.D., and these, this, they, they, he is buried at the old Concord Cemetery on Stagecoach Road. This is the Hightower family who are prevalent here in Henry County today. The one, in, one incident about Clinton was that when they were cleaning up the wreck, they found his feet and had it returned to the family who interred it, or interred his feet with him. Then, Clinton also was, in his family, was Newton Glass. He was sheriff of Henry County from 1885 to 1901. Newton was in charge of helping to help clean up a lot of this wreck with finding the people who died. He was also a great nephew of Judge Glass of Henry County. And the trussle over Camp Creek was built in 1881. It had already had some problems in the year of 1900 and had to be shored up. Then we have Mr. W. O. Ellis of Stockbridge, Georgia. <coughs> he was 25 years old. He worked for the Southern Railway as a bridgeman. He helped to build bridges. And it's ironic that he died in a wreck where a bridge washed out. The Ellis family is quite predominant in Henry County today. And Mr. Ellis is buried at Burke's Cemetery on North Henry Boulevard in Stockbridge. But it's very interesting at how much history is involved here. It goes on and on. We have a key thing about Mr. Ellis is he did not die that particular night. He passed away the next morning from his injury. But the Camp Creek train accident was something that no one could predict or no one could handle because of the gigantic rains that occurred there. That In that particular year, according to the National Weather Service, there were a lot of tropical weather systems that entered the southeastern United States and at that time, it was very much like Tropical Storm Alberto back in the 1990s when this rain just kept on and on and on and it finally washed out a very large section of the railway there and it made Camp Creek into a very swollen river, which it is not today.
Camp Creek is something you could almost step over. But it is something that needs to be remembered that these people died there. They died not knowing it was going to happen. They died having been on their way homes to whatever lives they had, whoever their families were, whatever their interests were, we will never know. But the key here is we do remember them. And I would like to say thank you for listening today. And don't just remember this train wreck and those who passed away on this year, but in the years to come. Thank you very much. All right. We're here at the uh, at the grave site of W. O. Ellis, and he's one of the one of the people who died in the train wreck at at Camp Creek in 1900. And so we're here today just to document uh, and to recognize this man. Uh, it's ironic how all of this came about. He worked for the railroad, he worked on the bridges, and then a bridge collapsed and took his life. So we're going to say a little prayer. I know he has descendants, and maybe somehow this little uh, piece of documentary will get to them and bring back some memories. And so we're going to go ahead and pray. We'll pray for the family. And Heavenly Father, how we do thank you. Father, we do, that we do have this information and we do have this history of someone who did exist, lived his life, and then paid the ultimate price, uh, dying in this tragic train wreck in 1900. Father, uh, we thank you for this piece of history. And we pray that it will be documented in a way that it will never go away. So we pray for this man's family, uh, his descendants, Father, that they would uh, that they would be interested in in this man's life and in the things that have happened since his death. We just give you praise and glory. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for all the wonderful blessings that's in our way. And as a part of uh, the Henry County uh, Cemetery Research Group, we just give you the praise and the glory for, for the things that we're able to do. We make our prayer in that name. Uh, and there is no other name. But we do want to mention before we close our prayer, Dr. Mike Moon is here with us for the Alpha Grit is on the video. We thank them for, the, for their participation in this. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are here at uh, the grave site of Clinton Hightower. Uh, son of C.W. and M.C. Hightower. And we're here just to make this little documentary and recognize the fact that this young man died in a terrible train wreck in 1900. And as you can see, this is his tomb. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful gravestone, but it's in an area where uh, it's kind of been neglected, but we're here today to recognize the fact that this young man lost his life 
uh, in this great train wreck. And so we, Alfred, Britt, Dr. Mike Moon, and myself, Raymond Parker, members of the Henry County Cemetery Research Group, we're here today to honor this young man. And so we want to say a prayer, and we want to pray for his family, the descendants that are, are still around, whether they're in Henry County or wherever they may be, that if they see this little piece of documentary, that they might come and see where one of their ancestors lies. So we'll have a word of prayer, and we'll pray for this family. Heavenly Father, we come to the throne of grace. How we do thank you for the blessings of life. And even though some are cut short in their lives, Father, we know that you're still in control of all this. So we thank you that we have this privilege to stand here today next to this gravestone of Clinton Hightower a young man that lost his life in a great tragedy. Father, we, we lift up the family members, his descendants, uh, Father, and if they see this documentary on, on YouTube, Father, we just we pray that they would come down and visit and see what it's all about. Father, we just give you praise and glory for everything that you do. And help us as the, as the Henry County uh, Cemetery Research Group, we might continue to do our job uh, uh, going out and, and documenting these old cemeteries uh, that are in dire need of some help. Father, we give you praise and glory in everything that you do. We make our prayer in that name that's above every name, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.